Paul from the Tank Modeler channel with my update on my Leopard 2 A6 uh, build, with, which is a Bradley build with Switcher. He was doing the Canadian version. I finally got my camouflage on. I needed a couple of touch ups, which I'm going to do this afternoon uh, uh, when I come back before I talk with our, our Monday uh, talk up on or talk up on on Skype with Switcher. So I should be doing that about five o'clock. So I'll get another spray session in just to finish this touch this up. Um, as you can see, it's very glossy and. Um, it does that doesn't help the camera very much because it, it reflects on it, uh, the surfaces with gloss and uh, you know so basically this is what I've got now uh, switcher sent me some uh, lovely um, uh, masks but I didn't use them in the end um, what I did is I used the picture of the muff from the mask which you which the actual pictures are not too clever because they don't give you every side a combination of that and using the Tamiya kit instructions for, uh, for the paint, paint scheme and also going online and getting some photographs on the areas where I, I wasn't too sure on, on what it was. And I come up with this and basically when I look at the photographs it looks pretty reasonable with everything so that's good. As I said I used done free end with this and I, I used my 0.2 airbrush and a wire to, a wire to one. Uh, wire to one. And basically knocked the air down to 14 psi and because uh, I was using uh, lacquer paint so very fine pigment. And then got a fine line of drawing on it and it took ages to do i must admit it was about three days worth of painting to get all the three colors in and i've got them in there now the other thing is the brown isn't as bright as it is on the box uh, for tamir's kit so i noticed that but i've been online and i've seen some with this type of shade brown on it so so i'm i'm going to stay with it and no matter what anyone says because you know it is a paint that was given uh, made up by mrp and evidently they would have made made some some uh, definite um uh, qualified look into the paint schemes and the colors of chips that they were using so so but i have seen some photographs on, on youtube that are actually are similar to this so that's a nice thing to know anyway but anyway so i've got the black green nato green black and brown uh, as you can see it's all been painted up there there's the bit that's still just sticking there i painted that as well so the scheme looks very close to the original one on the box and it also looks very close to the ones in the instructions and also one of the ones I've seen on the YouTube. So when I say very close, I mean as close as I could get it by doing it by hand. Now you might just see a small blemish on the on the brown there, and there's one uh, just there that's a bit missing. So that I can go in there with a very fine uh, brain and just get rid of that and get it back to normal. So, but she's ready for decals really as well. So, but I'm going to do those spraying jobs first. As you can see, I'll go all the way around. The the actual pat on the on the tight roof is is the same as what it is as well. So I managed to get that. Uh, and that was okay. Now until I do a, a sort of a semi 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 gloss coat and, and I mean I might even go for a matte coat on this to bring the colours up more vibrant because the shine actually doesn't help us move that. Uh, the shine doesn't help uh, the, the camera too much either. And I've got a bit of uh, painting to do, uh, detail painting. I've actually done some some bits and pieces uh, on the wheels. I've actually looked at those red caps where the actual, I think it's greeting nipples that are actually on the wheels uh, and I've actually painted them red. And just on the nipple himself and they're all little dots there and I may make them a bit bigger later on because I've noticed that they actually blur out a bit as if they just slap the paint on there but uh, there you go so there, there she is so not I think I've done quite a reasonable job on the paint scheme especially as I've done it by by hand and I said it took quite a while I've got a bit of touching up because the, the barrel was funny enough because the, the barrel looks quite good it's got a bit of wear on the end of it and all because it is a uh, aluminium barrel so I must have scraped the paint off a little bit, but there's a little shine where it was. So I've got to paint the inside anyway, because it's just uh, been painted green. So there's some detail painting to do, but I think you can see where I've got to so far. Uh, I might be able to go up. I'm not sure this is going to work. So if I go up a little bit and come down a little bit, it might give you an idea. That's it. It's not too bad. It might give you an idea of basically what she looks like on the turret and all. And, and that was following the close details that are there. I don't know if I can get a bit more sharper. I think that's about as good as you're going to get it. So tap, start still moves. All there, all the way around. So if I leave it like that, just a, to final part of. So there will be a final reel reveal possibly by the end of the week, uh, because I'm going to be working on the Tiger one on Wednesday for the first of November, and that's our buddy Bill will switch in regards to our one sixteenth Tigers. I'm doing the Tammy version, and he's doing the um, Bronco, I believe it is. But anyway, you if you go to his. Uh, Website, I'll switch it. You can you get some, a good idea what he's doing and all. He did do a video to say it, to actually uh, announce it again. So, so I'll be getting on with this a bit more to, to later this afternoon. Uh, hopefully, a little bit before I get in touch with Switcher, as I said earlier on. And we talk on Skype about five o'clock. 
but other than that um, I think I'm getting there slowly it needs a bit of a dust up so that's a good thing it needs a bit of a dust up once I've done all the, the decals but the gloss will help that uh, really well so but the gloss doesn't help filming very much either and it, that brown still looks a bit off to me but at the same time it looks right by other photographs as I said before and I'm definitely not going to go back in and try and spend another couple of hours trying to spray those little lines all the way around going gingerly as a go to do it all but thank you very much for watching and uh, next time you see it, it will be the completed kit uh, on a final reveal thank you very much and I'll catch you on the next one happy modeling